I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> I'm Justin Davis and you're going to get a first look at the new DJI Tello, their $100 drone and the smallest one yet. So we're going to take a look at some of the modes today. We're going to fly it. We're going to show you what that video footage looks like. We're going to take some photo stills. It also does 5 megapixel stills. And it's supposed to get an upwards of 13 minutes flight time and that's actually pretty good for a $99 drone. You can fly the Tello off your smartphone or you can fly it off a wireless gaming controller. So I'm going to show you everything you need to know today about the DJI Tello. I'm going to let you know whether it's worth the $99. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do is connect to your Wi-Fi and there is no password on the Tello. So once you click on it, it should open up within a minute later. Go ahead and click to connect. You'll see your live view pop up. You can see the on-screen controls. Now with your smartphone, you're going to use these buttons right here you see on the screen, up, down, left, and right. And that'll take you up and down with altitude control, which is nice. So altitude hold is on this quad. Also two modes for takeoff, that auto takeoff that auto land and it also has low battery landing voltage so that's really nice uh, but look how slowly this quad comes down and lands it has infrared sensors on the bottom that detect the ground or if you're doing hand landing so either way you go you're good to go there with your auto landings now the video quality is pretty decent it is 720p video it doesn't look super great in pans when you're moving left and right you can see a little bit of pixel blur there and I'm gonna get really picky in this video about this drone, uh, but you are gonna get a 13 minute flight time and that's actually probably better than the DJI Spark, which is kind of cool. It comes set up in beginner mode, which is a 30 foot range. The maximum flight distance of this quad is 100 foot and the max height is gonna be like 10 meters. So it is a selfie drone. They're meant to be close in and stay close up. So uh, that's something to think about. Now let's go ahead and talk about the modes on this quadcopter. This is pretty neat. This is the 360 mode right here. So it's gonna do a 360 pan of whatever environment you're in and keep this little guy kind of close. Also also, try not to fly over water because the sensors don't work over reflective surfaces. There I am, hi guys, and going all the way around. And once it gets all the way around, this 360 pan thing will actually stop when it gets all the way back to the starting point, which is kind of cool. Now, selfie mode is also kind of cool. The photos are five megapixel stills, pretty decent. And this mode right here, I'm still trying to figure out. This is called bounce and why it is doing this, I'm not really sure, but it's uh, kind of fun because it's from DJI and uh, the Rise company that developed this drone and it's, it's kind of cool, you know, whatever. It's a new mode I've never seen before and uh, I'm just having fun with it. Now the next mode is kind of like selfie reveal, which is also known as up and away on this drone. And we've seen this previously on other quadcopters, so um, nothing new there, but this is pretty decent for $99 so far and uh, I'm gonna show you some more features that this quad has and some more of the accessories. Now, something you guys need to know about the Tello, if you get under 50%, Whatever you swipe on the screen in the 8D flip mode, it will not work. So under 50%, no flips for you. So we're gonna skip that section of the video and move on. And let's see that throw and go mode one more time. So here we go. Take that, Lily. You should have done that two years ago. What's up with that? So here is the Tello doing that. But let's talk about the image resolution. It is pretty decent for $99. What I'm seeing here is, is pretty good definition and the textures on the water, you can see all of that. And it's not looking too bad. And I think that the Intel 14 core processor is really helping to bring in some of those richer details, even on a $99 quad. You know, it's kind of like the old saying, you, you get what you pay for. So not too bad in my book so far. Now let's go ahead and get real about the Tello. This drone has brushed motors on here. It is not brushless motors, guys. So um, keep that in mind when you're buying this. This is kind of hobby grade toy drone, um, replaceable parts on here. You can get new props and accessories for it, uh, but it is a little nicer than something you typically see like the Wingsland, the X1. That's not quite as nice as this. You can see the infrared sensors on the bottom. We have the on off button on the side. The USB port right here is gonna charge up that battery in about an hour and a half. Uh, I wish it would charge a little bit faster, but 
Let me go ahead and pull that battery out for you guys. That's a 1S1100 milliamp. And you'll see the light blinking while it's charging. And when it's fully charged, you'll see a solid blue light there. And it does have plastic bumpers on the bottom of the frame here for those hard landings. Not too big of a deal there, but it does look nice with prop guards off. And it's actually gonna fly a little bit better once you take the prop guards off. You're gonna get a better flight characteristic out of it. You're just gonna get a better performance out of the quad. Now, if you go to the Google Play Store, you can download your app for the Tello app for your Android phone and in iOS. You can also get multiple color canopies, which is kind of cool. And and you can Bluetooth link it to any controller. Now that props on here, they're three inch props and you also get a proper mover tool. These are not spin on props. These are just push on props, very easy to put on and off. You also get a manual inside and mine happens to be all in Chinese because I got the Chinese version here. Uh, and this is the DJI cable that normally comes with DJI drones, but for this one, there is no DJI cable or any cable in the box. So you have to provide your own. Now, weight wise, this is pretty light. It's under 250 grams. So don't worry about the FAA takeoff weight. Even with the prop guards, we're looking at 89.2 grams total takeoff way so no need to register this quadcopter now it also supports VR mode which is kind of cool so if you want to FPV this one with your device say Google Cardboard you can make some goggles and you can fly this one in VR FPV mode now I know some people are gonna ask me what about the Tello versus the DJI Spark well this is the DJI Spark footage that you've seen in the last couple clips and there's a big difference between the DJI Spark footage and the footage that you see from the Tello. And you also have much, much more range with the Spark. So if you're looking to spend a couple hundred more dollars on something, get the DJI Spark instead and just get brushless motors and all the bells and whistles uh, for about 350. That's not bad. But for $99, you can't really go wrong for a Tello. It's not bad in conjunction with Rise. It's a pretty cool and fun to fly little quadcopter. So thanks for hanging out with me, you guys, and checking out my review of the DJI Tello. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.